Welcome, curious minds, to another fascinating journey on curious young minds. Today, we're delving into the realm of innovation, exploring the lives and legacies of the 20 greatest innovators of all time. From groundbreaking inventions to revolutionary ideas, join us on this intellectual adventure as we unravel the stories behind these incredible minds that shaped the course of history. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay tuned for more captivating explorations. Let the journey begin. There are many groundbreaking ideas and invention designs. Using them could completely transform how we perceive the world and accomplish our daily tasks. A few inventions are so forward-looking that they set a precedent for future generations to follow. It seems that brilliant people can build anything you can think of, including gadgets, vehicles, and almost anything else. Inventive thinking is usually characterized by breaking away from the status quo. Innovative methods can make old methods obsolete and introduce new, unanticipated paradigms. A true innovator is someone who innovates new ideas and brings them to life. Innovating means creating something that makes life better. Passion is the key to innovation. The world looks different to innovators. As a result, they get obsessed with making the world a better place. For-profit innovators are always trying to bring value to the market. Some people focus on pushing the human race forward through core research. Whatever sector we're in, we're all relentlessly working to solve problems and create a better world. Human civilization has witnessed many engineering marvels throughout history, some of which have improved quality of life and some of which have been destructive. On the other hand, in today's fast-paced business world, keeping improving is an essential way to develop your innovator mindset and fill any skills gap your team may have. The LinkedIn 2023 Most In-Demand Skills shows that soft skills, both used inside the company, such as problem-solving, leadership and decision-making, and outside, reach and retain customers, are among the ones companies need most right now. So, let's take a look at the top 20 innovators of all time and the skills that made them succeed. Here are the top 20 innovators of all time. 6 Top Soft Skills for You and Your Team to Achieve Your Goals In a world of automation, it's soft skills that differentiate. Here are the top 20 innovators of all time. Thomas Alva Edison was a remarkable American inventor and businessman who left an indelible mark on the world. Born on February 11, 1847, in Milan, Ohio, Edison grew up in Port Huron, Michigan after his family moved there in 1854. He worked as a telegraph operator early in his career, which inspired some of his earliest inventions. In 1876, he established his first laboratory facility in Menlo Park, New Jersey, where many of his groundbreaking inventions were developed. Edison held an astonishing 1,093 U.S. patents in his name, along with patents in other countries. He is regarded as the most prolific inventor in American history. His inventions spanned various fields, including electric power generation, mass communication, sound recording, and motion pictures. Some of his notable inventions include Phonograph, the first practical sound recording device. Motion picture camera, an early version of the film camera. Electric light bulb, the commercially viable incandescent light bulb that revolutionized illumination. Stock ticker contributed significantly to mass communications. Mechanical vote recorder, an innovation in voting technology. Battery for electric cars, ahead of his time in electric vehicle technology. Edison was one of the first inventors to apply the principles of organized science and teamwork to the process of invention. He collaborated with many researchers and employees, establishing the first industrial research laboratory. Notably, he worked alongside businessmen Henry Ford and Harvey S. Firestone in various ventures. Edison's inventions had a widespread impact on the modern industrialized world. 
His work in electric power distribution, communication, and entertainment transformed society. The Black Maria, located in West Orange, New Jersey, was the world's first film studio, showcasing his commitment to innovation. In summary, Thomas Edison's relentless pursuit of knowledge, his ability to turn ideas into reality, and his impact on technology and culture make him an enduring figure in history. Apple founder Steve Jobs will go down in history as one of the greatest innovators. A visionary entrepreneur and technological luminary, left an indelible mark on the world. Born Stephen Paul Jobs on February 24, 1955, in San Francisco, California, he was adopted shortly after birth. In 1976, Jobs co-founded Apple Inc. alongside his brilliant partner, Steve Wozniak. Their mission was to create user-friendly personal computers. Apple II. Their first major success was the Apple II, one of the earliest mass-produced microcomputers. It revolutionized home computing. Macintosh. In 1984, Jobs unveiled the Macintosh, the first commercially successful computer with a graphical user interface, GUI. It transformed the industry. Pixar. Jobs played a pivotal role in the development of Pixar Animation Studios, which produced groundbreaking animated films like Toy Story. iMac, iPod, iPhone, and iPad. Under Jobs' leadership, Apple introduced iconic products like the colorful iMac, the game-changing iPod, the revolutionary iPhone, and the versatile iPad. His obsession with simplicity, elegance, and user experience defined Apple's design philosophy. Next and return to Apple. After leaving Apple in 1985, Jobs founded Next, a company focused on advanced computers for education and business. In 1997, Apple acquired Next, and Jobs returned as CEO. His leadership revitalized the struggling company. Design perfectionist. Jobs was a perfectionist, obsessing over details like font choices and product packaging. His famous mantra was, think different, encouraging creativity and innovation. Jobs was a master showman. His product launches became legendary events, combining showmanship, storytelling, and surprise. His iconic black turtleneck, jeans, and sneakers became synonymous with Apple keynotes. Legacy and Influence Jobs' legacy extends beyond technology. He shaped modern culture, creativity, and business. His relentless pursuit of excellence and his ability to marry technology with art continue to inspire generations. Nikola Tesla, a brilliant mind and a true visionary, left an indelible legacy in the world of science and technology. Nikola was an amazing inventor, engineer, and futurist. A man known for his crazy experiments and colorful personality, Tesla's work in regard to power production and transmission was way ahead of its time. Born on July 10, 1856, in Smiljan, modern-day Croatia, Tesla displayed an early fascination with electricity and mechanics. He studied engineering at the Technical University of Graz and later attended the Charles Ferdinand University in Prague. Tesla held over 300 patents, covering a wide range of inventions and innovations. His contributions spanned various fields. Alternating current, AC. Tesla championed AC power transmission, which revolutionized electricity distribution. His feud with Thomas Edison over AC versus DC, direct current, is legendary. Induction motor. Tesla's invention of the polyphase AC motor paved the way for efficient electric power generation and utilization. Tesla coil. The high-voltage transformer known as the Tesla coil remains a symbol of his genius. Wireless communication. Tesla envisioned a global wireless communication system, predating modern concepts like the Internet. X-rays. He conducted early experiments with X-rays. Radio waves. Tesla's work laid the groundwork for radio technology, although Marconi is often credited with its invention. Wardenclyffe Tower and Wireless Energy. Tesla's ambitious project was the Wardenclyffe Tower, 
designed for wireless transmission of energy and communication. Unfortunately, due to financial constraints, the tower was never completed. Despite his brilliance, Tesla faced financial difficulties. He often struggled to fund his experiments. In his later years, he lived in relative obscurity, but his ideas continued to inspire generations. Legacy and Recognition Tesla's vision extended beyond mere inventions. He dreamed of free energy for all humanity. His name lives on in the SI unit for magnetic flux density, the Tesla, T. The Tesla Electric Car Company pays homage to his legacy. In summary, Nikola Tesla's relentless pursuit of knowledge, his unyielding passion for innovation, and his unconventional approach continue to inspire scientists, engineers, and dreamers worldwide. Bill Gates, a tech visionary and philanthropist, has left an indelible mark on the world. Born on October 28, 1955, in Seattle, Washington, Gates showed an early interest in computers. In 1975, he co-founded Microsoft Corporation with Paul Allen. Their vision was to put a computer on every desk and in every home. Under Gates' leadership, Microsoft became a global software giant, creating the Windows operating system and other influential software products. Innovations and Impact Windows, the graphical user interface, GUI, of Windows transformed personal computing. Office Suite Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, became essential tools for businesses and individuals. Internet Explorer Microsoft's web browser played a significant role in the early days of the Internet. Philanthropy After stepping down as Microsoft's CEO, Gates shifted his focus to philanthropy. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Founded in 2000, the foundation aims to enhance global health, reduce poverty, and expand educational opportunities. It has made substantial contributions to vaccination programs, disease eradication, and healthcare research. Gates is known for his insatiable curiosity and relentless learning. He reads extensively and seeks knowledge across disciplines. His focus on priorities and time management allowed him to achieve remarkable success. Gates believes in continuous improvement and learning from failures. Gates' legacy extends beyond technology. His impact on global health and education is immeasurable. His journey from a young programmer to a billionaire philanthropist inspires generations. In summary, Bill Gates' combination of technical brilliance, business acumen, and humanitarian efforts has shaped the modern world. Benjamin Franklin, a multifaceted genius, left an indelible mark on history. He was a brilliant polymath, inventor, political theorist, scientist, statesman, and writer who was one of the founding fathers of the United States. Despite a prodigious scientific mind and a wide range of interests, he's most famous for his electricity and lightning experiments. Born on January 17, 1706, in Boston, Massachusetts, Franklin was the 15th of 17 children. He began his career as a printer, eventually owning his own printing business. His newspaper, the Pennsylvania Gazette, became influential. Scientific curiosity and discoveries, Franklin's experiments with electricity are legendary. He conducted the famous kite experiment to demonstrate the connection between lightning and electricity. His invention of the lightning rod helped protect buildings from lightning strikes. Franklin coined terms like positive and negative charge, significantly advancing our understanding of electricity. Beyond electricity, Franklin invented the Franklin stove, an efficient heating device. He also developed the bifocals, eyeglasses with both near and distant vision lenses. His glass harmonica, an instrument, showcased his creativity. Franklin played a crucial role in the American Revolution. He was a signer of the Declaration of Independence. As a diplomat, he negotiated the Treaty of Paris, 1783, securing American independence from Britain. His wit and wisdom were evident in his Poor Richard's Almanac, filled with practical advice and proverbs. Franklin's autobiography remains a classic. It chronicles his life and principles. 
His essays, such as The Way to Wealth, emphasized hard work, thrift, and self-improvement. He founded the American Philosophical Society and contributed to philosophical discussions. His legacy extends beyond inventions. His civic contributions shaped the young United States. His famous quote, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. In summary, Benjamin Franklin's insatiable curiosity, practical wisdom, and multifaceted talents continue to inspire generations. Leonardo da Vinci, a philosopher, engineer, and inventor. Leonardo was the original, Renaissance man. Leonardo da Vinci, born on April 15, 1452, near Vinci in the Republic of Florence, now Italy, was a true Renaissance polymath whose genius transcended multiple disciplines. Leonardo's artistic legacy includes some of the most celebrated paintings in history. Mona Lisa, this enigmatic portrait is renowned for its mysterious smile and exquisite technique. The Last Supper, a monumental fresco depicting Jesus and his disciples during the Passover meal. The Virgin of the Rocks, a captivating depiction of the Madonna and Child. Portrait of Ginevra de Bensi, a striking portrait of a young woman. His mastery of light, perspective, and human emotion set new standards for art. Scientist and inventor. Leonardo's notebooks reveal his insatiable curiosity and scientific inquiry. He sketched ideas for inventions that were centuries ahead of their time. Helicopter. His designs for a flying machine resemble a modern helicopter. Tank. He envisioned a war machine with protective armor and firepower. Solar power. His interest in harnessing solar energy is evident in his sketches. Anatomy studies. His detailed anatomical drawings advanced medical knowledge. Water and hydraulics. He explored water flow, canal systems, and hydraulic engineering. Architect and engineer. Leonardo designed innovative architectural projects, although many remained unrealized. His vision extended to urban planning, bridges, and fortifications. Philosopher and humanist. Leonardo's pursuit of knowledge embraced philosophy, mathematics, and natural sciences. His notebooks contain philosophical reflections alongside technical sketches. Personal life and legacy. Leonardo was a man of contradictions, introspective yet sociable, deeply spiritual yet scientific. He never married and had no children. His influence on subsequent generations of artists, scientists, and thinkers is immeasurable. In summary, Leonardo da Vinci's multifaceted brilliance, boundless creativity, and relentless pursuit of knowledge continue to inspire awe and wonder. Alexander Graham Bell was a remarkable individual with a diverse range of accomplishments. Born on March 3, 1847, in Edinburgh, Scotland, Bell was the son of Alexander Melville Bell and Eliza Gray Simmons. His mother was almost deaf, and his father was an elocution teacher for the deaf, which influenced Alexander's later career choice as a teacher of the deaf. Despite leaving school at age 15 without graduating, Bell continued his education informally and pursued his interests. Bell moved to the United States in 1871 to teach the visible speech system developed by his father. He taught at various schools for the deaf, including the Boston School for Deaf Mutes, the Clark School for the Deaf, and the American School for the Deaf. Inventions and Accomplishments Telephone, 1876 Bell is most famous for inventing the telephone. In 1876, he received the first patent for the telephone, revolutionizing communication. Phonograph, 1886 He also refined the phonograph, an early sound recording device. Light to transmit sound Bell worked on using light to transmit sound, exploring optical telecommunication. Metal detector. In addition to his work in telecommunications, he invented the metal detector. Heavier than air flight. Bell also contributed to the field of aeronautics and experimented with heavier than air flight. Later life and legacy. Bell became a naturalized American citizen and co-founded the American Telephone and Telegraph Company, 
AT&T, in 1885. He spent his later years at Bean Bra on Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, Canada, where he continued his scientific pursuits. His legacy extends beyond the telephone, as he made significant contributions to various fields, leaving an indelible mark on history. In summary, Alexander Graham Bell was not only the inventor of the telephone but also a scientist, teacher, and visionary who shaped the world of communication and technology. His impact continues to resonate today. Sir Sandford Fleming, a Scottish-Canadian engineer and inventor, made significant contributions to various fields. Born on January 7, 1827, in Kirkcaldy, Fife, Scotland, Fleming emigrated to colonial Canada at the age of 18. His journey took him through several Canadian cities, including Quebec City, Montreal, and Kingston, before settling in Peterborough in 1847. In 1849, he qualified as a surveyor in Canada and became involved in various scientific endeavors. Inventions and accomplishments, standard time zones. Fleming is renowned for promoting worldwide standard time zones. He advocated for a prime meridian and the use of the 24-hour clock to communicate accurate time. His efforts significantly influenced the creation of Coordinated Universal Time, UTC. Canadian Postage Stamp in 1851, Fleming designed the Three Penny Beaver, which became the first Canadian postage stamp for the province of Canada, now parts of Ontario and Quebec. Railway Engineering He played a crucial role in the construction of the Intercolonial Railway and engineered the initial several hundred kilometres of the Canadian Pacific Railway. Royal Society of Canada Fleming was a founding member of the Royal Society of Canada and also established the Canadian Institute, a science organization in Toronto. Legacy and personal life, Fleming's contributions extended beyond engineering. He designed Canada's first postage stamp, worked extensively in land surveying and map making, and left an indelible mark on Canadian history. His advocacy for standard time zones continues to impact global communication and coordination. Fleming passed away on July 22, 1915, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. In summary, Sir Sanford Fleming was not only an inventor but also a visionary who shaped timekeeping, transportation, and scientific exploration. His legacy lives on through the time zones we use today. Marie Curie born Maria Salomea Sklodowska Curie on November 7, 1867, was a remarkable physicist and chemist who made groundbreaking contributions to science. Marie Curie was born in Warsaw, Poland, which was then part of the Russian Empire. She studied at the clandestine Flying University in Warsaw, where she began her scientific training. In 1891, at the age of 24, she followed her elder sister Bronislava to study in Paris, where she earned her higher degrees and conducted her subsequent scientific work. Radioactivity and Nobel Prizes In 1895, Marie married the French physicist Pierre Curie. Together with Pierre and physicist Henri Becquerel, she conducted pioneering research on radioactivity. Marie coined the term, radioactivity, and shared the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics with Pierre and Becquerel for their work in this field. Tragically, in 1906, Pierre Curie died in a Paris street accident. Marie went on to win the 1911 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her discovery of the elements radium and polonium. She used techniques she invented for isolating radioactive isotopes. Medical Innovations and Legacy During World War I, Marie Curie developed mobile radiography units that provided X-rays in field hospitals. This innovation significantly advanced medical diagnostics. She founded the Curie Institute in Paris in 1920, which remains a major medical research center. In 1932, she established the Curie Institute in Warsaw, furthering her legacy. Marie Curie passed away on July 4, 1934, at the age of 66, in Saint-Salomas, France, 
likely due to aplastic anemia from radiation exposure during her scientific research and radiological work. Nobel Laureate in Identity Marie Curie was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and remains the only person to win Nobel Prizes in two scientific fields, physics and chemistry. Despite becoming a French citizen, she never lost her sense of Polish identity. She taught her daughters the Polish language and took them on visits to Poland. Her legacy extends beyond her scientific achievements. In 1995, she became the first woman to be entombed in the Paris Pantheon based on her own merits. In summary, Marie Curie's pioneering spirit, dedication to science, and groundbreaking discoveries continue to inspire generations of scientists and researchers worldwide. The Wright brothers were American aviation pioneers who achieved a monumental milestone in the history of flight. Orville and Wilbur were the sons of Milton Wright, an ordained minister of the Church of the United Brethren in Christ, and Susan Catherine Corner Wright. Their upbringing was marked by intellectual curiosity and encouragement to explore their interests. Their home provided an environment where curiosity could flourish one. The Wright family moved frequently due to Milton's responsibilities as a church editor and bishop. Pioneering work in aviation The Wright brothers were fascinated by the idea of human flight from an early age. They conducted extensive research, experiments, and observations related to gliders and other flying machines. Their breakthrough came in 1903 when they achieved the first powered, sustained, and controlled airplane flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. On December 17, 1903, Wilbur piloted the Wright Flyer for a flight lasting 12 seconds, covering a distance of about 120 feet. Orville also had successful flights that day. Key Contributions The Wright brothers developed innovative concepts such as wing warping, to control roll, and a three-axis control system, pitch, roll, and yaw. Their 1905 Flyer 3 was the first fully practical airplane, capable of sustained flight. They continued refining their designs, improving stability, control, and maneuverability. Legacy and Impact The Wright brothers' achievements revolutionized transportation and opened up new possibilities for human exploration. Their work laid the foundation for modern aviation, influencing subsequent generations of engineers, pilots, and inventors. Their legacy extends beyond the invention of the airplane. They demonstrated the power of perseverance, scientific method, and practical engineering. Recognition and honors. In 1903, their historic flight was witnessed by only a few people, but its significance became evident over time. Orville and Wilbur received recognition, including the first powered flight being officially recognized by the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale. Their impact on aviation led to the establishment of National Aviation Day in the United States, celebrated annually on August 19, Orville's birthday. In summary, the Wright brothers' relentless pursuit of flight forever changed the course of history. Their legacy continues to inspire dreamers and innovators worldwide. Galileo Galilei, is often referred to as the father of modern science because of his breakthrough ideas that helped usher in the scientific revolution in the 17th century. Early life and career. Galileo was the oldest son of Vincenzo Galilei, a musician who made significant contributions to music theory and practice. Initially studying medicine, Galileo's fascination with mathematics led him to shift his focus. He attended the University of Pisa and became enamored with mathematical subjects and philosophy. Fundamental Contributions Inertia Galileo formulated the concept of inertia, which describes how objects remain in their state of motion unless acted upon by external forces. Law of Falling Bodies He investigated falling bodies and established the law that all objects fall at the same rate regardless of their mass, in the absence of air resistance. Parabolic trajectories. 
Galileo's work on projectile motion and parabolic trajectories marked a fundamental change in the study of motion. Mathematical language of nature. He insisted that the book of nature was written in the language of mathematics, emphasizing experimentation as a method for discovering natural facts. Telescope discoveries. Galileo's use of the telescope revolutionized astronomy. He observed Jupiter's moons, demonstrating that celestial bodies could orbit something other than Earth. His observations of Venus's phases supported the heliocentric model proposed by Copernicus. Conflict with the Church Galileo's support for the Copernican heliocentric system brought him into conflict with the Roman Catholic Church. In 1633, he faced the Inquisition for advocating heliocentrism, leading to his house arrest until his death. Despite this, Galileo remained an icon of scientific integrity, defending empirical evidence against dogmatic views. Legacy and Influence Galileo's work laid the groundwork for modern physics and the scientific method. His insistence on empirical evidence and mathematical reasoning transformed natural philosophy. He remains a symbol of courage in the face of intellectual opposition. In summary, Galileo Galilei's contributions to motion, astronomy, and the scientific method shaped the course of scientific inquiry and continue to inspire scientists and thinkers worldwide. Richard Phillips Feynman, born on May 11, 1918, in New York City, and passing away on February 15, 1988, near Florence, was an American theoretical physicist of Jewish descent. Feynman grew up in Far Rockaway, Queens, New York City. He attended the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, as an undergraduate and later received his PhD from Princeton University. In 1942, he married his high school sweetheart, Arlene Greenbaum, despite her being ill with tuberculosis. Quantum Mechanics and Electrodynamics Feynman is renowned for his work in the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics and the theory of quantum electrodynamics QED. His groundbreaking ideas revolutionized our understanding of subatomic particles and their interactions. He proposed the Parton model, which helped explain the structure of protons and neutrons. Superfluidity and liquid helium Feynman made significant contributions to the physics of the superfluidity of supercooled liquid helium. His insights into the behavior of helium at extremely low temperatures advanced our knowledge of condensed matter physics. Feynman diagrams. He developed a widely used pictorial representation scheme for mathematical expressions describing subatomic particle behavior. These diagrams, known as Feynman diagrams, are essential tools in particle physics calculations. Nobel Prize in Recognition. In 1965, Feynman received the Nobel Prize in Physics jointly with Julian Schwinger and Shinichiro Tomonaga for their work in quantum electrodynamics. He became one of the best-known scientists globally and was ranked the seventh greatest physicist of all time in a 1999 poll of leading physicists. Beyond Physics Feynman was not only a brilliant scientist but also a keen popularizer of physics. His lectures, including the famous, Feynman Lectures on Physics, continue to inspire students and researchers. He wrote autobiographical books like, Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman, and What Do You Care What Other People Think? Legacy and Impact Feynman's legacy extends beyond theoretical physics. He pioneered the field of quantum computing and introduced the concept of nanotechnology. His scientific integrity and curiosity remain an inspiration to generations of scientists. In summary, Richard Feynman's brilliance, curiosity, and groundbreaking contributions forever shaped the landscape of modern physics and scientific inquiry. Maria Telks, born on December 12, 1900, in Budapest, Hungary, and passing away on December 2, 1995, was a Hungarian-American biophysicist and inventor who made significant contributions to solar energy technologies 12. Maria Telks embarked on her scientific journey at the University of Budapest, 
where she studied physical chemistry. In 1924, she earned her PhD in physical chemistry from the University of Geneva in Switzerland. Her academic pursuits continued as she became an instructor at the University of Geneva. Immigration to the United States In 1925, Telks moved to the United States to work as a biophysicist. She began her research at the Cleveland Clinic Foundation, investigating the energy produced by living organisms. Under the leadership of George Washington Cryle, she invented a photoelectric mechanism capable of recording brainwaves. Solar Energy Innovations During World War II, Telks developed a solar distillation device that was deployed at the end of the war. This device saved the lives of downed airmen and torpedoed sailors. Her goal was to create a version of this technology for villagers in poor and arid regions. Often referred to as the Sun Queen, Telks is considered one of the founders of solar thermal storage systems. In collaboration with architect Eleanor Raymond, she created one of the first solar heated houses, known as the Dover Sun House, by storing energy each day. In 1953, they designed a solar oven suitable for people at various latitudes, including children. Awards and recognition. In 1952, Telks became the first recipient of the Society of Women Engineers Achievement Award. She received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the National Academy of Sciences Building Research Advisory Board in 1977. Legacy and impact. Telks registered more than 20 patents related to her innovative work. Her invention of the solar distiller and the first solar-powered heating system for residences left an indelible mark on the field of solar energy. Maria Telks remains an inspiration for her dedication to scientific research and practical applications. In summary, Maria Telks, with her pioneering spirit and commitment to solar energy, continues to influence sustainable technologies and inspire future generations of scientists and inventors. Josephine Garris Cochran, born on March 8, 1839, in Ashtabula County, Ohio, and passing away on August 3, 1913, in Chicago, Illinois, was an American inventor who left an indelible mark on household technology. Invention of the Dishwasher Josephine Cochran's invention of the first commercially successful dishwasher revolutionized kitchen chores. Frustrated by chipped heirloom dishes, she sought a better alternative to hand washing. In 1886, she received a patent for her hand-powered dishwasher, which securely held dishes on a rack while water sprayed through to clean them. Entrepreneurship and challenges. After her husband's death in 1883, Cochran faced significant debt. Making the dishwasher work and turning it into a profitable venture became essential for her financial stability. Undeterred. She founded the Garris Cochran Manufacturing Company to manufacture her innovative machines. Success at the World's Columbian Exposition In 1893, Cochran showcased her dishwasher at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. Nine Garris Cochran washers were installed in the fair's restaurants and pavilions. The dishwasher garnered interest from restaurants and hotels, especially where hot water access was limited. Cochrane won the prize for Best Mechanical Construction, Durability, and Adaptation to its line of work at the fair. Legacy and Acquisition Her company, initially focused on commercial customers, grew and was renamed the Cochrane's Crescent Washing Machine Company. After her death in 1913, the company was eventually acquired by Hobart Manufacturing Company and became part of KitchenAid. Josephine Cochran's dishwasher invention remains a testament to her ingenuity and determination. Recognition and Impact In 2006, she was posthumously inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for her dishwasher patent. Her legacy lives on, and she is still listed as one of the founders of KitchenAid. In summary, Josephine Cochran's pioneering spirit and practical innovation continue to influence modern kitchens and household appliances. Patricia Era Bath, born on November 4, 1942, 
in New York City, was an American ophthalmologist and humanitarian who made significant contributions to medicine and eye care. Let's delve deeper into her remarkable life and achievements. Patricia Bath was the daughter of Rupert and Gladys Bath. Her father, an immigrant from Trinidad, was a newspaper columnist, merchant seaman, and the first black man to work for the New York City subway as a motorman. Her mother was descended from African slaves and Cherokee Native Americans. Encouraged by her parents, Bath excelled in science and math during her high school years. Scientific Research and Discoveries At the age of 18, she won a National Science Foundation scholarship while attending high school. This led her to a research project at Yeshiva University and Harlem Hospital Center, where she studied connections between cancer, nutrition, and stress. Her research on cancer and nutrition earned her a front-page feature in the New York Times. Bath discovered a mathematical equation that could predict cancer cell growth and concluded that cancer itself was a catabolic disease with tumor growth as a symptom. Invention of the Laser Faco Probe In 1981, Patricia Bath invented the Laser Faco Probe, a groundbreaking device for cataract surgery. The Laser Faco Probe uses a laser to dissolve cataracts in the eye, allowing for their removal. After cataract removal, the eye is cleaned, and a replacement lens can be inserted. This invention has helped restore sight to countless individuals worldwide. Impact and Legacy Bath's Laser Faco Probe has prevented blindness caused by cataracts, benefiting millions of people. She was the first African-American woman doctor to receive a patent for a medical purpose. Beyond her inventions, Bath founded the nonprofit American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness in Washington, D.C., advocating for greater access to basic eye care in underserved communities. Recognition and Inspiration Patricia Bath's dedication to science, innovation, and humanitarian efforts continues to inspire future generations. Her legacy lives on, and she remains a trailblazer in the field of ophthalmology and medical technology. In summary, Patricia Era Bath's groundbreaking work has transformed eye care and improved the lives of countless individuals around the world. Mary Elizabeth Anderson, February 19, 1866 to June 27, 1953, was an American inventor and a trailblazer in the field of automotive technology. Mary Anderson was born on February 19, 1866, on the Burton Hill Plantation in Greene County, Alabama. She grew up in a family that valued education and curiosity. Her father, John C. Anderson, passed away in 1870, but the family was able to live comfortably due to the proceeds from his estate. In 1903, during a snowy trip to New York City, inspiration struck Mary Anderson. While riding a streetcar, she observed the driver struggle to see through the snow-covered windshield. Determined to find a solution, she designed a practical device, a windshield wiper that could be operated from inside the vehicle. On November 10, 1903, Anderson was granted U.S. Patent No. 743801 for her invention. Challenges and Legacy Despite her groundbreaking invention, Anderson faced difficulties getting companies to adopt her windshield wiper. Corporations, including a Canadian manufacturing firm, turned her down due to perceived lack of demand. Unfortunately, she did not profit from her invention during her lifetime. Mary Anderson remains a forgotten pioneer in the history of automobiles, but her impact is undeniable. Recognition and Impact her windshield wiper invention paved the way for safer driving conditions, especially during adverse weather. Today, millions of people benefit from her innovation, preventing accidents caused by impaired visibility. Mary Anderson's legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of persistence and practical problem-solving. In summary, Mary Anderson's invention of the windshield wiper transformed automotive safety and continues to impact our lives every day. Melita Bentz, born Amelie Auguste Melita Liebscher on January 31, 1873, in Dresden, Germany, 
was a remarkable German entrepreneur and inventor who revolutionized coffee brewing. Melita grew up in a family of entrepreneurs. Her father was a publisher, and her grandparents owned a brewery. In the late 1890s, she married Johannes Emil Hugo Bentz, a small business owner, and they had three children, Willy, Horst, and Herda. As a housewife in Dresden, Melita was tasked with brewing coffee daily, which led to her invention. Invention of the coffee filter. Melita aimed to address the unsatisfactory methods of brewing coffee prevalent at the time. Traditional methods, including porcelain percolators and fabric filters, often resulted in overbrewed coffee with grounds floating in the cup. Dissatisfied with this, Melita sought a way to brew a cleaner and more enjoyable cup of coffee. In 1908, she experimented with a brass pot and a piece of blotting paper from her son's school notebook. By punching holes in the bottom of the pot and lining it with blotting paper, she successfully filtered out the coffee grounds, leaving a clear, flavorful brew. Realizing the potential of her invention, Melita filed for a patent and founded her company, Melita, with a starting capital of 72 pfennigs. Popularity and growth. The Melita filters, crafted from specialized paper, transformed the coffee brewing experience. The product gained popularity quickly, receiving a gold medal at the International Hygiene Exhibition in Dresden. Melita's invention made it possible to brew a cleaner, more flavorful cup of coffee, simplifying the process and making coffee more accessible worldwide. By 1928, her company had dozens of employees. Legacy and Impact Melita Bentz's innovation addressed the issue of wastage and cleanliness associated with traditional brewing methods. Her paper coffee filter remains in use today and has evolved with advancements in coffee brewing technology. The Melita Group continues to produce coffee, coffee makers, and coffee filters, making her name synonymous with quality coffee products. Social Initiatives Melita was known for her generous bonuses and employee-friendly work schedule. She also started Melita Aid, a social fund, demonstrating her commitment to the well-being of her employees. In summary, Melita Bentz's invention of the coffee filter transformed coffee brewing and remains a staple in households and cafes worldwide. Grace Brewster Murray Hopper, née Murray, December 9, 1906 to January 1, 1992, was an American computer scientist, mathematician, and United States Navy Rear Admiral. She made significant contributions to the field of computer programming and technology. Grace Hopper earned her PhD in mathematics and mathematical physics from Yale University. Before joining the Navy, she was a professor of mathematics at Vassar College. During World War II, she attempted to enlist in the Navy but was initially rejected due to her age. She instead joined the Navy Reserves. Pioneering work in computing. In 1944, Hopper began her computing career as part of the Harvard Mark I team led by Howard H. Aiken. She co-authored three papers based on her work with the Harvard Mark I during her wartime service. Hopper is credited with writing the first computer manual, titled, A Manual of Operation for the Automatic Sequence Controlled Calculator. Invention of COBOL, at the Eckert Mouchley Computer Corporation. Hopper was part of the team that developed the Univac I computer. She managed the development of one of the first COBOL compilers. COBOL, Common Business Oriented Language, was an early high-level programming language still in use today. Hopper believed that programming should be simplified with an English-based computer programming language. Legacy and Impact Hopper's work laid the foundation for modern computer programming. She was the first to devise the theory of machine-independent programming languages. Her contributions continue to influence the field of computer science and inspire future generations. In summary, Grace Hopper's pioneering spirit, dedication to technology, and groundbreaking contributions remain an inspiration to scientists, programmers, and innovators worldwide. Marion Donovan, born Amelie Auguste Melita Liebscher on October 15, 1917, 
in South Bend, Indiana, was an American inventor and entrepreneur. She secured a total of 20 patents for her creations, making her one of the era's most prominent female inventors. Marion grew up in a family of entrepreneurs. Her father and uncle invented the South Bend lathe, a tool used to grind automobile gears. Encouraged by her industrious environment, she developed an entrepreneurial spirit from an early age. At the age of 22, Marion earned her B.A. in English from Rosemont College in Pennsylvania. Invention of the diaper cover. As a mother, Marion faced the challenges of cloth diapers that lacked waterproof covers. She observed that cloth diapers acted more like a wick than a sponge, causing leaks and discomfort. In 1946, she created a reusable, impermeable diaper cover using a shower curtain material. The cover, which she called the boater, prevented chafing and diaper rash. Despite initial challenges, Marion's invention gained success when sold at Saks Fifth Avenue. Legacy and Impact Marion Donovan's diaper cover innovation indirectly led to the creation of the disposable paper diaper, eventually commercialized by Victor Mills, the creator of Pampers. Beyond diapers, she invented and patented 20 other items aimed at simplifying everyday tasks. Her approach was simple yet effective. She asked herself, what will most certainly benefit a lot of people? Recognition and Acquisition Marion's company and patents were bought by the Kiko Corporation for $1 million. Her legacy continues through her inventions and her impact on everyday life. In summary, Marion Donovan's ingenuity transformed diapering and inspired practical solutions for everyday challenges. Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee, also known as Tim B.L., is an English computer scientist best known as the inventor of the World Wide Web, the HTML markup language, the URL system, and HTTP. His contributions have had a profound impact on how we access and share information on the Internet. Let's delve deeper into his remarkable life and achievements. Tim Berners-Lee was born in London on June 8, 1955. His parents, Mary Lee Woods and Conway Berners-Lee, were both mathematicians and computer scientists. He studied at the Queen's College, Oxford, where he earned his BA in Physics. Invention of the World Wide Web in 1989, while working at CERN, the European Particle Physics Laboratory, Berners-Lee proposed an information management system. He implemented the first successful communication between an HTTP client and server via the Internet in mid-November of the same year. Berners-Lee devised and implemented the first web browser and web server, paving the way for the explosive development of the web. Founding the World Wide Web Consortium (W3C). Berners-Lee is the founder and director of the World Wide Web Consortium, W3C. The W3C oversees the continued development of the web, ensuring its interoperability and accessibility. Awards and honors. In 2004, he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for his pioneering work. Berners-Lee received the 2016 Turing Award for inventing the World Wide Web, the first web browser, and the fundamental protocols and algorithms allowing the web to scale. Legacy and ongoing work. He remains a senior researcher and holds the three com founders chair at the MIT Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, CSAIL. Berners-Lee continues to advocate for an open and decentralized web through initiatives such as the Solid Project. In summary, Sir Tim Berners-Lee's invention of the World Wide Web transformed global communication and information sharing, making him a pivotal figure in the digital age. As we wrap up this enlightening exploration of the 20 greatest innovators, we hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the minds that changed the world. If you found this video intriguing, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to Curious Young Minds for more thought-provoking content. Stay curious, stay inspired, and until next time, keep exploring the wonders of knowledge.
Thank you for being a part of our intellectual journey.